Check it out, check it out now. All right, people, it's about that time. It's award season. The BT Awards is coming back around, and no, 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 not that one, not the Ghetto Ratchet one. That's a hip hop awards. It's the BET Awards. That's like the overall awards. I don't really know the difference. I know one's ratchet, the other one's a little bit more classy. Okay. Now, people are mad that they were not nominated or people feel snubbed, like we always have at all these award shows, okay? The nominees were announced, and I had a couple critiques because I looked in the Best New Artist category, and I ain't see Uzi, Yachty, Kodak, I ain't see Nav, I see a bunch of new artists I believe should have been in the mix, okay? Now, again, no slight to the people who were nominated because it seems like everybody earns their keep, but it felt a little bit empty when I expected to see some names there and they weren't there. Now, one person in particular, she voiced her opinion to say, yo, hey, hey, this shit ain't right because she felt she should have been nominated. And it's Chirac's very own Dreezy, okay? Dreezy's a hip-hop slash like R&B, like she's just kind of like a fusion of the two. She does both. However, she's been putting in work. She dropped a project last year. A lot of people have been fucking with her. So while she's been gaining a lot of traction online, I think she believed that she was going to get nominated. Now, with the nominations, and, and, and th- these are the two categories I think her music could have fit in, right? Uh, she could have fit in, number one, the best female hip-hop artist category. And those nominees were Cardi B, Missy Elliott, Nicki Minaj, Remy Ma, and Young M.A. Also, possibly a best female R&B slash pop artist, even though she's not really that. But you could tell just by the nominees she wouldn't be in this list. Like Beyonce, Kalani, Mary J. Blige, Rihanna, Salon. So, pretty much, the consideration for her would have probably stopped that best female hip-hop artist. She didn't like that she didn't get nominated. She took to Twitter and she said this. She says, LOL, this industry funny. And somebody says, I'm surprised Dreezy didn't get a BT nomination for female rapper. I like her. And she says, I'm not. It ain't my music no more. Only female to drop an album last year. Well, when Platinum vids all hit millions, three tours with all niggas, no credit, I'm going to charge it to the game, though, okay? She also responds to another fan by saying, well, actually, the fan said, yeah, they hold. It's about a popularity contest. She said, and I never give a fuck about clout. We still going to eat. And somebody else says, no shade, but I only know three songs by you. And I don't even know the lyrics. Humble yourself, okay? And she says, first, y'all said I ain't had no hits. Then y'all said I'm a one-hit wonder. Now you know three, but you still can't salute Kanye Shrug. Now, I've been breaking down the game with these nominations for years. Uh, these award shows are not to congratulate talent on a merit basis. So it's not you're going to get what you've worked for. It's basically whatever pleases the award shows, what gets the best ratings, the politics that they've worked out behind the scenes. It's nothing merit based with these goddamn award shows. Okay? So, Dreezy, you're not plugged in like that. You're not super popular outside the music. Your music is doing fine. But because you're not super popular like some of these other people, you're not going to get nominated. And, again, I'm not saying you don't deserve to. But that's how these award shows been rocking for the longest. And y'all as artists keep playing that game because y'all love when y'all get nominated, right? Knowing that there's a game being played and how they're getting the nominations and choosing the winners. Y'all love when y'all are nominated, so y'all can't try to dismiss it when y'all are not, okay? Basically, to be honest, you got to get a little bit more popular and start doing a little bit more fuckery outside of the music, right? Uh, Again, it seems unfortunate I got to say that. But you probably also got to play ball a little bit when it comes to the politics because that's the reason why a lot of people are nominated. And again, I ain't pointing at anyone on that list for female. To be honest, Remy Ma should win the category. Okay, salute to Nicki Minaj. We all know she's the biggest star. It's been the Nicki Minaj Award for some while. But Remy Ma had a strong year. She should win. Okay, Cardi B been doing her thing. Missy Elliott. uh, I haven't seen Missy Elliott since like her last Super Bowl like cameo appearance. So I don't know what she's really up to. I don't want to speak negatively of the legend, right? And Young M.A., we all know, ooh, so that's about it. So unfortunately for Dreezy, obviously other things in... I want to say other things outside the music didn't really match. And also the politics that, that's being played. There's politics, people. There's politics. Get in the comments. Make sure you guys like them. Subscribe. Anybody fuck with Dreezy? If y'all fuck with her, let me know. All right? Get in the comments. We'll check it out. I'm